join the Whitman. That was Maiden. Maiden, wow. Initial thoughts? What are we thinking? Oh, man, um, at the right time. Let's start here. This right here is Tom Hunt, retired aerospace engineer of over 44 years. And that right there is his brand new twin 64 millimeter F-14 by Freewing. Now, Tom thought he would be a better fit to fly Goose around than Maverick himself. So he custom fitted this thing with a full head tracking FPV setup. These companies put a ton of R&D into creating these awesome airplanes, and I like to fly them out of the box just the way a majority of you would buy them. Tom, on the other hand, always takes them and micro-tweaks everything. Just listen. Well, I reached in there with a pencil, and I and I scribed the line on it, and I cut it away, and I put a, a 116 piece of blade uh, plywood in there, and now it, it tongues underneath there, and it holds that down. But that was that was, that was was sticking up about a sixteenth of an inch, about, about a millimeter and a half. Yeah. It'll fit a five. It won't go six. It won't fit a six, but it'll go. Some some of my five thousands will fit. Some of my other ones won't. Yeah. Got to get some afterburners in there. No, I can't see them from the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Good answer. Yeah. You got your, your screen is even lit up, huh? No, it's not lit doesn't up. It's it looks like it, doesn't it look like look at the screen? It looks like it's yeah. lit. For the first flight of the new airplane, Tom didn't want to fly FPV, but he did want to record the flight, so he set it up. Right. Any takers? Cockpit view. Get in there. Now, I'm not on the stick, so I can't tell you exactly how it's flying. From my opinion, it looks like it's okay. It looks very nimble. The landing gear did phenomenal on that rough grass runway. And in person, I promise you, it is not as loud as this video is making it sound. Those twin 64 millimeters on camera sound way louder than it actually does in person. But it does have a nice sound to it. Now, this is Tom's maiden flight. He's taking it very easy. We're going to call this an official trim flight. He's just getting it dialed in so that when he puts those FPV goggles on, He's not going to have an issue or have to worry about trimming it out. With the wings open, it proved to fly slow very nicely. Now, he didn't sweep the wings back. He was waiting until he had his FPV goggles on to actually do that wing sweep, and I'm excited to see it. Now, bringing it in for a land, it looks like a nice, easy plane. And again, it has that beefy landing gear, so he has no problem bringing this thing in on that rough runway. This was the maiden. The that was maiden. Maiden, wow. Initial thoughts? What are we thinking? Oh, man, um, at the right time, huh? I, I think right it flies day. very much like all the guys I see on uh, RC groups and uh, YouTube have been saying. It flies very well. Gyro is on all the time because I don't have an extra channel to turn it on and off. Yeah. Uh, I have my... Well, it's it flies, it gyro, it. not self-level gyro. Not self no, just rate gyro. Yeah, that's it's, uh, <laughs> you know, the six functions plus wing sweep is seven and head tracking is eight i only have an eight channel true uh, so you only have um only pan. pan yeah got it yeah in these small cockpits yeah you don't need it i don't yeah. need tilt in the small cockpits like this but the um i've got a 10 channel coming that i could add the brake if i need i don't need a break in this field but it will give me the ability no, to turn the gyro on and off breaks. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I like it. Um, it looks like it flies really strong. The only thing I don't like is a gray day in a gray airplane. You know, it's so. crazy. It wasn't as loud as I was thinking it was going to be. No. It's just quite, It's probably even quieter than my A10 264. Really? It looks like it yeah. pretty fast. The though. A10 has it a look like, It definitely looks like it has some good power. The A10 has a bit of a whine that this has more of a whoosh. I'm not going to do any more assessment until I until I fly at FPV yeah, because it's so much power. easier yeah, to assess stalls no power, and fly, and all that other stuff sitting in the cockpit because you can see it coming a lot faster than you can see it from the ground. For those of you that are interested in the FPV setup, Tom's YouTube handle is down in the description. But to make it simple, the FPV camera gets connected to the balance lead of the battery. He soldered it in that way. And the pan servo gets connected to an extension lead that's plugged into the receiver that's assigned to the trainer port. Again, Tom could go into all details about this stuff with you guys, and I'm sure he has videos on his YouTube, so check it out. But let's get this in the air. Take it off.
heavy. I'm not going to re-trim it. I'm going to leave it at half. something it gets better Changing trim would have would have flaps. Now, big thanks to Tom. Even though I wasn't the pilot, he let me pretend like I was Maverick and get this sick thumbnail. So, Tom, as always, appreciate you. And, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.